guys, so I'm back on YouTube. I'm gonna attempt to try to make some videos, whether they're entertaining or helpful, we'll find out. But I recently got this set of Alpine skis, which has been such a fun experience. But when I first got into it, there aren't a lot of videos to kind of help you switch between walk and hike mode, which is super helpful for skinning uphill and then skiing downhill. So I thought I would try to make a little how-to video to kind of get your skis working and see if it makes it a bit of an easier process for you than it was for me. So let's check it out. So these are my Solomon Mountain Explorer 88 skis and I have the Shift S-Lab MNC 10 bindings, which have the great feature of going from walk mode to ski mode, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I have the boots that go with, it's the Mountain Explorer, and these are awesome. They're so comfy, they fit great. And then I have some Solomon poles and skins for going uphill. So taking a closer look at the bindings, they're currently in ski mode, which you can tell because right here it says ski, and then the brakes are down. And then up top, it's also in the mode for ski. And then these guys, once your boot is locked in, you push in to lock. So I will show you that in a second. So with the Mountain Explorer boots, you have a couple features. This is gonna keep you in walk mode. So it's giving you that flexibility, but then also you switch it before you keep your boot locked. And this is gonna be for skiing downhill. And then you can just lock all these features in, which of course I can't do with one hand, but you want it to be tight. So once you have your boot adjusted, for downhill, you're gonna place the front of your boot into your binding. And then with the back, you're gonna push your heel down until it clicks, which might be a little bit hard. And then in the front, you're gonna push this down, which locks it into place. And then you're locked in and you're ready to ski downhill. And then of course, to get out, you'll have your other boot on. You're just gonna release this, which you can also do with your ski. So then to prepare your boot for walk mode, you're gonna switch the back, which gives you that flexibility for walking. You're gonna loosen the power strap and then loosen these guys too. Just kind of depending on preference. I like this a little bit tighter so my foot doesn't move around and I don't get blisters, but then you can release this guy too. Okay, great. So. They're still in ski mode. We're gonna switch them over to walk mode. So right here, you're gonna see this part that says ski. And you wanna be careful not to pinch your fingers. So you're gonna lift this up and this at the same time. And then just make sure that that part is pushed in. And then if you're going uphill, a little bit steeper than normal, you can use this extra part. Your boot will sit on it, but that's what that's for. And then this part's a little tricky too, so ski, and then we want it in walk mode. So you're kind of just gonna pull this part down, this comes up, and then when you put your boot in, you're gonna pull it up to lock it into place. So take the right boot, <laughs> and you can push it down to get the boot into the holes. So you'll see that there are these guys. So then to get your boot in, you can kind of use your ski pole <laughs> to push down on it. And then once you get them in, great. So now that it's in, you just pull up on this, which locks it into place and you can walk. And then to release it, you just push down. You can use your hands or your poles and you're good to go. So one of the final steps before you can skin up is putting your skins on, which unfortunately I don't have Solomon skins, which would have made it really easy. You just wanna lock this in because they have skins that are fitted to the skis, but then they're not a sock. So you can get other skis that are the same size. You just might have to cut them to the width of your ski. So this is definitely something that's good to practice because if you're doing it on top of the mountain, you'll probably have gloves on. 
and it's gonna be windy and you don't want to get them in the snow <laughs> so then you're good to go so now uh, hopefully you're ready for your first uh, skiing alpine adventure don't forget before you go downhill to take off your skins it's good to bring a pack so that you can put the skins in there with some snacks of course plenty of water a spot beacon something like that and then I'll put in my description all of the things that I have where I got them from exactly and then feel free if you have questions to put them in the comments and hopefully this is helpful it'll teach you to use your bindings and your skis safely and efficiently so have fun out there and thanks for listening